Hey guys, it's me again. It's Fanny Jack Soap. And I'm cutting my Cupid's heart. This one is pink and purple and I use titanium dioxide again as the base color. Um, I did a drop swirl and an in a pot swirl. This recipe is not my recipe. I, I had to adapt it from um, Anne Marie with um, Soap Queen. I used one of her recipes. I needed a, a recipe that was more fluid, longer, where mine, you know, it, you make, I mix it up and I turn around and 10 seconds later it's already hard. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm liking this one. I did have to change it a little bit because I needed it not to stay fluid long enough, um, too long, but where I can still be able to um, have it tighten up quick because um, sometimes, you know, um, depending on the oils that you use, the um, it can... You know, it'll go through saponification and all that, and it'll still be too soft. Or I needed a little bit firmer, so I just changed some of the amounts of the oil, and I got actually what I wanted. So um, I probably will use this if I like the texture and the feel of it. I may use this only when I'm doing the swirls and when I need a little bit longer working time for this. But I do like my original recipe. It's really creamy and um, it. I love it. But anyways, so let me just shut up rambling and gonna get cutting. <laughs> so that is the first one. Oh look it has a face. No. So the backs because I use plastic bags to line my molds, they look all kind of yucky, but it's okay. It's only, it's only cosmetic. The soap still works great. And it is handmade soap, so I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to what it looks, the, um, how it's cut. Because every piece is different. I need to put some oil on that thing. Okay. Looks like the pink is running. I think I used too much um, pink mica. It's the Raging Raspberry from TKB. And the purple is the um, the purple pop mica that was from TKB, which they no longer carry, which I wish they would carry, because it is the only purple that actually I found so far in a mica that actually stays purple. Because I have the neon purple that I ordered from TKB, and when you use it in cold process soap, it morphs to pink. So, yeah. It's pretty, but can't use it. Not in cold process soap. So. I think, yep, the, I used too much pink in that Rage and Raspberry, the Rage and Raspberry. And I didn't think I used that much, but I guess I did. Well, according to this, it says I did, so it's bleeding, but that's okay. It's still pretty. And oh, this is, again, pink, excuse me. Cupid's heart, and um, I believe it does have vanilla in it, so it will brown. Titanium dioxide does not, you know, it helps it somewhat, but sometimes it'll just defeat it. So,
So hopefully each one of these will have a heart in them if I lined them up correctly. And I hope you guys can hear me. I'm not trying to be all loud. You know my kid probably thinks I am. <laughs> She's asleep on the couch this morning. Oops. <coughs> but yeah, you can see the pink. It's bleeding. You want to know what happens when you use too much of a color. You just see it. It bleeds into the other color. So with this, I will get 12 pretty much equal pieces. I'm not sure how much they weigh. Let me see. These are all about five and a half ounces. It's cool with me. smell delicious. These are all made with goat milk soap. This one's made with goat milk. Um, but okay, so this one will chop it in the middle. So what do you do is turn it over and get to the ugly side again. The other ugly side. It seems like a little heavier. Let me see. Yep, five six. Just a little bit. And I cut that one just a little bit too big. Yes, excuse my fingers because I had to kind of hold it down. <laughs> it moves somewhat, but it's okay. And I forgot to wipe. Uh, this last piece is by four. And then the final little strip. And this one, of course, will be cut into samples like all my other ones. <sighs> so let me see what I have. So anyways, that is Cupid's Heart. Let me just show you guys. Excuse the mess. Alrighty. So here we have Cupid's heart, like I'm, I'm in a shadow, and um, this one is the um, pink velvet, and this is just plain goat's milk, which is not cut up yet, I just cut a piece off. And this is made with my original recipe, and these are the adaptations of someone else's. So anyways, thanks for watching, you guys have a great day, and happy soaping!